Hi, my name is Estefan from DSL Telecom and today we're doing an unboxing of the new Talcom 5G CPE Max 3 router. When you do get the box and you open it up, you will see on your left your router. Uh, there we go, the router. On your right you will get your accessories that come provided with your router. You'll get your power cable, your Ethernet cable, power over Ethernet adapter, also called PoE adapter, your grommets, two C clamps, your wall mount with the four bolts, and then finally your footpiece. To insert your SIM card into your router, first thing what you want to do is you want to grab a screwdriver, then lift up your router, you'll see at the bottom there is a housing connected with four screws. You want to firstly loosen up all the screws, and once all of them are currently loosened up, you open it up. You'll see this housing, it is watertight, it has a seal there, this is mainly for outdoor use when you are connecting your router outside. You will see there is an additional uh, Ethernet port, this is now when you want to connect it inside, you want to connect it to any of your external Wi-Fi devices, and then also there is the housing for your SIM card. Now if you quickly grab your SIM card, you'll need to slide in, now it has to be a nano SIM. Pop it in there. Listen for the click. And then close up your housing. Screen in nice and tight. It should be ready to go. All right, so to set up the router for indoor use, what you want to do is you want to grab your network cable, then you want to thread it through the bottom of your foot piece. All right, and then what you want to do is you grab the router, can connect the network cable at the bottom. Listen for the clicking sound that I show that it is in, and then line up foot piece at the bottom. Of your router and connect and you will hear a clicking sound as well right now once that is done you will take your network cable again and then take your power over ethernet adapter you connect the cable to the uh, power port on the adapter itself you'll see it's blue and then your power cable will connect to the poe adapter Plug that into your wall, and then once it's safe, you switch it on. To set up your router for outdoor use, well, you will first need to grab your wall mount bracket. Now this wall mount bracket has an upside facing. You'll see there's two arrows facing upwards. This would be the side that you'll need to mount your bracket against the wall onto. You'll see there is four holes. You do get four provided bolts for wall mounting and then also two C clamps. This will now be used for let's say pole mounting uh, if you do wish to proceed with such a, a installation method. Now what you can do is once you have your bracket mounted against your wall, take your router. You will see at the bottom there is a thread. You take your grommet. This will have your ethernet port already threaded through and then just thread it in nice and tightly. Now this uh, grommet is watertight so this will keep your ethernet cable uh, well nice protected against the elements and then also just keep your router nice and safe as well now once your ethernet cable is installed you'll take your router line it up with the uh, stubs on your wall mount line it against the bottom uh, holes at the bottom connect it up properly and slide your router down. It will make a nice clicking sound when it's connected. All right. Key things to note about this unit is that it is IP65 rated. That means that it is water and dust resistant. 
is also dual broadband so you, that means you can connect with 4G and 5G connections additionally with the outdoor units you do get a times one deco mesh unit for internal connectivity uh, if you do like these types of videos do drop us a comment down below like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one